All right, folks, so um, I saw the problem posted up on Tip Community that was uh, uh, relatively difficult, even though it seemed pretty straightforward when I first read it. Uh, so I'm going to recreate it for you right now. Um, basically, the person online said that they wanted to, they, had, they, they showed a bar chart, so let's say create that bar chart. Switch to bar chart. And um, it was broken out on the x-axis by a year. And on the y-axis, it was just the row count. And then it was a side-by-side -side that was colored out by color. There you go. And it was just to keep it nice and consistent. It was blue, brown, and green. And uh, if I go to column properties, then I'll even put them in the correct order. And then we'll go ahead and we'll add some labels to the complete bar. And that would be pretty much an exact recreation of um, the starting data set. So then the challenge was um, the person wanted to put a an average line across the bar, which would be pretty simple, but they wanted the average only to be based on 2013. So uh, the visualization, of course, it would show that whether or not the uh, blue, green, and brown bars were even reaching the average of the 2013. All right, so, you know, of course, first instincts are to just right click, go to properties, and click on lines and curves horizontal and do a straight line and click on average and then when you think to yourself okay well maybe I can do an over function do a custom expression but you realize that you really don't have access to the data table you are, you're doing the, the custom expression would be on the actual visualization itself you only have access to the y-axis when you are creating a, a horizontal line so you know, I poked at this a lot of times. I opened it, closed it, and opened it, closed it, and uh, I decided that I wasn't going to be able to do, do it this way. So, the solution that I came up with, um, and I'm only sort of just getting into R. I feel like a lot of times I meet people who who do R and experts at R, and um, you know, it's either either they don't know anything about R or they're just geniuses. Uh, but I found that there is a pretty good middle ground of uh, being able to use R in conjunction with Spotfire to accomplish those extra tasks. Um, so what I did, I wrote this simple R function, which takes in the counts of colors, and then it returns back a, uh, a count average back as a, uh, um, as a document property. And then I use that document property to set the, uh, the line. So let's go ahead and do it. Um, first couple things that I want to do is I want to, you know, let's actually kind of make this uh, a little bit flexible. We're going to add in a property, make it a drop down list. It'll be a new drop down list called uh, year drop down. And it will be an integer. And we'll say 2013 as a starting point. And then that will be actually be based on unique values in a column for a year. So that's perfect. We're good. All right. Uh, the other thing we want to do is we want to have a holding spot for the average that's going to come back. Um, so we're going to create another document property. This time it's going to be a, um, let's say it's going to be a real starting value of zero. And let's just say this is going to be called count average. All right. 
So now I'm going to take my function here. Um, yeah, I'm just going to register a new data function. And it's going to be a typical enterprise runtime for our data function. Copy my script. And then I'm going to set my input parameters. Um, I don't need any packages. Everything is done in a base R. And then I'm going to add three inputs. I'm going to say the types of inputs. The real or, yeah, reals or integers. I'm going to call it blue count. Brown count. All right. And then the output parameter, we're just going to say is count average. All of these are single values, and that should be good enough. So now if we go ahead and run this, we're going to be provided with the parameters. Um, I'm not too worried about the title, but just for the sake of it, I'll just say uh, um, average for a given year. And then I'm going to use the, for every input parameter, I'm going to use an expression. And I'm basically going to say sum if, sum, and then an if statement. The color is equal to blue and the year is equal to I'm going to find my my year drop down and I'm going to insert that as a value so if those if that's true then sum uh, sum is with a value of 1, otherwise sum with a value of 0. That's going to basically give me a sum if count. Oop, what did I do wrong? I probably missed an expression, uh, in a parentheses rather. There we go. And then we'll do the second one. And we can pretty much just insert the exact same thing, but we'll say green. And we'll do the third one, exact same thing, we'll say brown. And then as the output parameter, we're going to pick a document property that we created, count average, and we press OK. Uh, there's and say changes. Do you want to save this before continuing? No, it's fine. All right. So now if we right click and go to properties. I can go to lines and curves. And I can say draw a straight, draw a straight line. And my expression. Remember that count average? I'll insert that as a value. And I'll give it a label. Maybe color it a little bit. I'm 
there we go. You know, of course, you can format this to make it look a little bit better. Uh, by adding the little drop down here, then what we're doing, oh, well, let's see, I didn't, uh, I didn't do that right, it looks like. So, data functions, edit, uh, refresh automatically. There we go. So now, by changing this drop down menu, you're changing uh, for what year you're doing the average. All right, so I hope that was helpful. Um, it was the best way that I've come up with doing this. Um, I saw some other options on uh, on the same thread to say change this to a uh, combination chart, which is probably a really good idea. I'm going to try that myself after this video is done. Um, but you know, I think that this actually ended up being a good use case to end up showing how just knowing the tiniest bit of basic R can really extend the functionality of, some, of Spotfire a whole lot.